Hello, dear children. Now, in the first part of this adjective second degrees of comparison, we have discussed the basic rule of this degrees of comparison, which three degrees we have here, and uh, what are the basic rules that we follow for these three degrees? Okay, so I am just going to revise it again to make you clear about it exactly which degrees are there and what are the rules that we use it already we have discussed that in the positive degree we have the first form of adjective and two nouns are compared here and we use as adjective first form or adverb first form and as we have used adjective first form two nouns are compared and as as we use an adjective first form is used in degree of positive the next we have comparative in this adjective second form is used two nouns are compared and we use adjective second form and after that than we have to use okay second form we have to use two nouns are compared and we use second form and after that than we have to use remember this and the third we have superlative in this adjective third form is used adjective third form is used and two nouns are not compared remember this very important here two nouns are not compared but one noun is compared to all the nouns which are there present in a way of superior quality then we use the before the adjective third form so these are the basic rules that we need to remember you can note down also this is very important for you so the positive comparative and superlative and this will help you out how to identify the example it is in which degree okay so this if you know this one it will be very easy for you to change degree and also to identify the example of in which degree it is used okay so here we have some different forms of the adjectives like first we have positive then we have comparative and third we have superlative so if in the positive we are using many or much example so we'll use here more in the comparative and we'll use most in superlative then we use in positive old older and oldest then we have good better and best okay and the last one we have beautiful then we have more beautiful and most beautiful now there are few points i would like to discuss here in this chart when some of the words which are changing them as adjective or adverb so look at that er is used and est is used but some words are changing in different way like many more and most and good better and best they are not following the rule which we use here er and est as more and most is seen so remember that most of the degrees forms are used in different way so you must have to practice it properly and some of the children may get confused with the verb forms also like go went and gone talked talked and talked so the verb forms and the adjective forms are different don't compare them together and they are different not same at all okay so sometime don't say that go went and gone will come in degrees no because they are verbs so degrees we use only adjectives and adverbs that you need to understand okay so old older and oldest are the adjective form so we change them from one degree to second and second to third with the different formula of the degrees but remember do not compare them with the verb forms they are totally different now let's discuss about the last point that is beautiful more beautiful and most beautiful actually the sum of the verbs word actually the noun or adjective if it has more than four syllable or even four syllable it has that time we use more or most example like see old this old word has only two syllable now what syllable is actually syllable is a stress on particular word the way we pronounce it or we can say the pauses while reading a particular word 
So here old, we read it. There are two tests, old, O and on D. So two syllables are there. So that's why we use ER and EST. But in beautiful, there are read about four syllables. You can count B, U, T, F, and L. Getting it? So when we have four syllable in a particular adjective or adverb, we have to use more or most in the degrees. Remember, this is very important for you. Example like intelligent. So we'll say the word more intelligent and most intelligent while changing that adjective in comparative or in a superlative. Now you got that? Okay. Now let's go for some of the examples, and uh, I hope. You can easily find out now which degree is there used in the particular examples, and I hope uh, it will be easy for you by discussing all these rules. So let's see the first example. Ram is taller than Sham. Now here, taller is adjective second form I use, and than also use. So it is basically the example of degree of comparison. So it is of comparative degree. Second degree, we can say. Number third, second one. Sham is not so tall as Ram. So see, when you are changing this degree of comparative into positive at that time, if the sentence is positive here, this becomes negative. Are you getting it? If the sentence, if the sentence is positive in the degree of comparative, we make it negative while changing into positive. Example like see Ram is taller than Sham, so this is the example of degree comparative. But when we change to positive, like Sham is not so tall as Ram, we have make the sentence example negative. So like Sham is not so tall as Ram. When we change the degree positive into negative at that time, we use not and so. Remember this not and so is used. As as is not used, so that time we use so. So tall as. So before that, so is used and not is used in negative sentence and the degree of positive. Remember this. So this is the example of positive degree. Let's go for number third. Ritu is the tallest of all. So obviously the third form is used and the is used before that. So definitely an example of superlative degree. Let's go for a fourth example. Kavita runs as fast as Savita. So, as fast as is used, both the side as an adverb. Fast is adverb here. So, fast is used adjective first form, and for that purpose, example of positive degree. Let's go for now five example. Savita is not faster than Kavita. So here, not faster is used. Okay. Here, the simple is positive. So we are making in the negative form. While changing into comparative, remember this. And when two nouns are compared at that time, we do not change that degree into superlative. Remember this. Listen here. Ram and Sham, I am not using the superlative degree. Again here, Savita and Kavita, I am not using number six example because they are not compared with all. They do not have superior quality, so I will not use them in the degree of superly superlative. Okay. So Savita is not faster than Kavita. So faster is adjective or adverb second form, and than is used after that. And number third is Jack is the fastest of all. So here the is used, and after that adjective third form is used, and for that purpose example of superlative degree. Let's go for number seven. This tree is shorter than that tree. So the comparison between two trees we can see. And is saying that this tree is shorter than that tree. So shorter than is used. Adjective second form is used, and than is used. So definitely example of. Can you guess it? Yes, example of comparative degree. Now number eight example. That tree is not so short as this tree. So shorter has become short. Adjective first form. So is used, not is used. So for that purpose, as is used after short, and not so is used. You have to make it negative when we change degree comparative into positive. Got it? So this is second number eight example will be the example of positive degree. 
and number nine, the stump is the shortest of all. So stump is the small tree bush we can say, and that is the shortest tree, shortest tree of all. So here the is used, and after that shortest adjective third form is used, and for that purpose it is an example of superlative degree. Okay, so I hope the examples will make you clear about the degrees, and it will be easy now how to identify the degrees and how to change the degree from positive to comparative. You can see the examples of this one, and you can take your own example and make it more interesting and more easy for you. Practice more these all the examples so that it will be definitely clear to you, and you can change the easily degrees of comparison. Okay. so thank you dear student enjoy your day